Hello LEGO lovers! I'm Travis and welcome back to another excellent vintage Star Wars set review here on Bricks Showcase. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already then please like and subscribe to this channel, it really helps make more classic LEGO content. Today I showcase the LEGO Star Wars Anakin's Pod Racer, set 7131 from 1999. It is from Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace Movie. This set is from the second wave of LEGO Star Wars sets, and a memorable scene from the movie. The set depicts the scene in the movie when Anakin Skywalker enters the Moe's Espapod race competition in an attempt to buy his way to leave Tatooine so he can be trained as a Jedi. The set has 136 pieces and comes with two Star Wars figures. There has since been a 20th anniversary Anakin's Pod Racer set made in homage to this one. Perhaps we will see a UCS version in the future? However, as always, this is the nostalgic and first original Anakin's Pod Racer model ever made so much of a desired and sought-after item. This set has a good likeness to the pod racer in the movie and is a good build for its time. If we move on to look at the minifigures, young Anakin Skywalker has the traditional Lego yellow face and hands. The facial expression has a smile with a set of three freckles on either cheek. His torso is sand-colored with the front side printed. His legs are also sand-colored and are standard size. Short legs were not introduced by Lego until 2002. He dons a conveniently kid-sized Naboo gray helmet with goggles. The black helmet version was in the Naboo fighter set. I feel they could have given Anakin a tool like a wrench here to add to the playability of the model. The Padme figure again has the traditional Lego yellow face and hands. She has an odd eye expression and red lipstick. The blue torso has nice printing to show her gray outfit and belt. The legs are black. The best thing about this minifigure is the fantastic brown hairpiece which is unique to the character. The anniversary set version has Padme with a blaster, which was not allowed in Lego at the time. However, they could have given a black megaphone piece with translucent orange 1x1 one one disc to depict a blaster instead like they did in other Star Wars sets of this era. The back of the Padme minifigure shows the fantastic brown hairpiece. It really looks awesome. If you like this set and review so far, then please like and subscribe and help the channel grow. The build begins with a yellow and blue flagpole with a little sand-colored base. This part of the build could get easily lost as it adds nothing to the set. Then there is the brown and white pit droid, which is easy to build in a few steps. The pit droid does not look like the one in the movie. Instead, the pit droid would fit well into a classic space Lego set from the 1980s. The main build is of the pod racer itself and is mainly made of yellow, black, blue, and gray bricks. The pod racer in the movie was streamlined and smooth, while this is squarer and blockier. As you can see, the front has a lot of exposed studs which we would not really have anymore. The huge six yellow fin pieces at the front of the model are adjustable like in the movie and are the identical pieces used in the modern set version. The two huge engine parts are made up of dark gray, light gray, and blue pieces. These do not have a lot of detail but manage to capture the emphasis of the pod racer. These circular engine pieces can also rotate like the pod racer in the movie. The entire structure is held together by sand color bricks which match the Tatooine sands. They should have made this transparent white pieces, which they corrected like in the Anniversary Edition set. The oddest thing of this set is that the energy field pieces in between the engines are transparent orange instead of purple like in the movie. This is another aspect that was corrected by LEGO in the Anniversary Edition set after realizing the flaws. The main carriage is made of blue and light gray bricks. It captures the cockpit while having the two adjustable joysticks for Anakin to control. The front blue slope has gray printing on. The side view shows the cockpit better and where Anakin would sit on the red parts. The back part cleverly uses blue Lego car doors with red and gray printing on. These are be swung back to emphasize the curved cockpit exterior. The back again has a slim blue slope. This is the view from the front, 
From this angle, you can really see that the sand-colored structure holding it together makes it look odd and blocky. It makes you visually think that it is part of the vehicle. Even the orange energy field pieces look square, symmetrical, and blocky. Though it is a nice long vehicle and great for playability. The underside of the model shows the sand-colored structure holding the Podge Racer together. The underside of the engine has flat red pieces. So, there we have it LEGO Star Wars Anakin's Pod Racer, set 7131 from 1999, from Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace Movie. This set is repeated in the larger Moe's Espa Pod Racer LEGO set which also has the Pod Racers from Sebulba and Giscano in their larger and more superior Pod Racer vehicles. But this was an easier and cheaper way to get just Anakin's Pod Racer being the most iconic. Overall, this is a great set build for its time. But like so many Star Wars sets, it has been superseded by more superior and better looking sets and many figures. At the time it was released, people didn't know there would even be different and better future versions made. Perhaps there will be a UCS version 2 at some time in the future as it is an iconic vehicle from Episode 1. However, I'd recommend this set to any vintage collector of old Star Wars Lego sets.